Hi, my name is Annalisa, and I am crafty and polished. Today I'm going to show you how to make these nail stencils out of painter's tape. Here's what you'll need to get started. Freezer paper, painter's tape, scissors, pinking shears or zigzag scissors, a ruler, a pen, and something to score with. I use a dotting tool. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was take a small piece of freezer paper and lay out three strips of the painter's tape across it, making sure to space them out a little bit. Then I took my scissors and I cut each piece of painter's tape out, leaving a small margin around. Now we're gonna start with the chevrons. For this first piece of painter's tape, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half, try to match up the edges as nicely as I can, and I'm just finger pressing it down. Then I'm gonna take my little pair of scissors, which are pretty sharp, and I'm gonna make diagonal cuts along the fold of the tape, trying to keep them as straight as possible. You can go ahead and measure this if you want to, but I don't feel it's really necessary. You'll just keep cutting until you reach the end of your strip. Now I'm just unfolding that piece of painter's tape, pushing down as best I can to get rid of that little fold. I'm just taking my dotting tool here and just evening it out. Next I'm taking another piece of painter's tape and I'm going to put it along the strip about a quarter of an inch away on one edge, pushing down nicely. And I realized I was pulling from the wrong side. You want to take the side that is not covered by that second piece of painter's tape and you're just going to peel up the edges as best you can. And you're just going to keep peeling those little pieces up until you reach the end of your strip. Next I flipped it over and holding the tape with one finger I went ahead and peeled the backing, the freezer paper off, kind of folding it over on itself. Next you're going to take another piece of freezer paper, you want to make sure you're putting it on the shiny side, and you're just going to go ahead and place it down, making sure you kind of lay everything nice and smooth with your finger. And I just removed that little bottom piece right there, but you want to brace the tape and just kind of pull off the other pieces. And here I'm just labeling those chevrons that I just made. Next up are the zigzags. So you're going to take a second piece of the painter's tape and your ruler and you're just going to make little tick marks with your pen at whatever increment that you want to. I decided to do at least every eighth of an inch. I find those make a nice chevron. And just keep going all the way down your little piece of tape here. Next, I am going to go ahead and take my dotting tool, which I'm using as my scoring tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and line that up and try to keep them even and just scoring every eighth of an inch or whatever measurement you decide to use. So here you can see all of those scoring lines. These are going to come in nice and handy when we pull out our pinking shears. Um, here are those pinking shears. I'm going to try to line up those score lines with the top edge or the top scissor right here. So you can see I'm trying to line up those little ridges. And you want to kind of start somewhere you'll be able to see as a reference point. So I'm using one of the little hilltops as my reference point so I know exactly where to start. You don't want to cut all the way through. Same thing as the last time. Don't cut all the way through. So I'm just lining it up and continuing to cut. And you're going to cut the entire length. My hand gets kind of sore so you can see it kind of stop and start a couple times. But just keep going all the way till the very end. I just pulled that little edge off. So here you can see them. Okay, so take another piece of the painter's tape and you're going to 
put it on top of your cut piece or you can lay it upside down and lay your cut piece on top of it. I found this was the easiest way for me and you're just going to work with it until you get it pretty even there and then you just kind of push it down, smooth everything down, making sure none of the little zigzags are overlapped and just keep working with it. You can see I'm pushing down pretty nice and firm here. So one important thing on this one to make sure you focus on is to not pull from the cut side. So you want to pull from the side that's not cut all the way through here. And I left this part in here so you could see my mistake. You don't want to pull it all off from one end. You can actually lose a couple of your zigzags here. So pull off the top part completely first as you can see here, and then pull the freezer tape back on itself. This helps keep them all lined up nice and straight and not all over the place. Then take that strip and put it on the other piece of the freezer paper where you have your chevrons and just smooth everything out. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and pull that second piece of painter's tape off, making sure you hold down the little zigzags so they don't kind of rip off with it. And I'm just labeling this small zigzags. Okay, so here you can see two out of the three stencil designs. Next up is straight tape. This one's actually really easy. You're going to take that third piece of the painter's tape and you're just going to cut little parallel lines, making sure you're not cutting completely through the freezer paper. And you can make them whatever width you like. Just cut all along until you reach the end. So you're going to take another piece of the painter's tape, lay it across just like we did with the zigzags, and pulling from the little edge that is not cut all the way through. You're just going to peel everything back, trying to get those little pieces of tape to stick to the other piece of the, free, of the painter's tape here. Just take your time and they'll all come off. So just take that tape, put it down on your freezer paper, peel the other piece of painter's tape off, and here I am labeling them straight tape. So here you can see me using some tweezers to get one of the single chevrons up and off of this freezer paper. I'm going to try to use the tweezers to put them on my nail, but I think I was holding it at the wrong angle here. So you can either use tweezers or you can use your fingers. But you want to make sure you use them on dry nails and you're going to place them and push them into place, making sure that you get rid of any air bubbles or gaps so that when you paint polish over them, it doesn't seep underneath them and make it look sloppy. After you're done painting, you wanna make sure you remove it while it's still wet and you're done, top coat it. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below in the comments and I will talk to you guys later.